smell that? You smell that? Cause I smell that. It's Yashahime time. Play my intro. What's going on, gang? It's your boy. What's going on, gang? It's your boy, DVGTX Dash YT. And y'all already know we are back with another Yashahime episode. Today we got number five. That is right. We finally got to the fifth episode. Thus far, animation's been on point. Things been on top of each other as far as the pacing, as far as the action. Every episode has led to the next episode, giving us something to look forward to each episode. So, in my overall first four episode review, I have given this series a solid A to start. Each episode itself, like I mentioned, has progressively been better than the last one. It has definitely kept my attention. Um, in comparison to other sequels that I've seen, uh, this one is really good, actually, uh, compared to everything else. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, <clears throat> but, you know, just saying. Anyway, with that being stated, though, let's go ahead and jump into this mess today and we got the jacot sumaru of the red bone palace that is the name of the episode we're gonna meet someone new a new demon more than likely uh i'm wondering what this demon has to do with their link to the past and future nonetheless we're technically at a point where the first episode could tie in kind of in that sense so they came back already to the past and they got all the books and all that big bag and stuff like that. So, that could make sense that they could just pick up from where they're at. With that being stated though, last week we did kill the goal number for everything except the like. We were two likes away. Do you understand how much frustration I had last week? We killed the view numbers. Like, we Killed the view numbers. When I tell you last week we had 375 viewers on this particular reaction, that was great. Continue sharing. Let's continue posting. Let's continue hitting the thumbs up. The goal for this video is 30 thumbs up. Thumbs up. Come on. Make sure we hit it. 30, 30. 30. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. Right, you guys slapping the thumbs up and sharing the content. We will get more and more viewers coming through, like always. So y'all already know. Without further ado, sorry for the tab. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Bandit. And this era, bandits do exist, so. Huh. Tokotsu. Ah, oh. wow. Well, that's a way to start the episode. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell was coming out his mouth? So it starts off with a bang. I told y'all this show just knows how to start off an episode, B. The one thing I will definitely stress is I hope that this doesn't take the old school formula of the monster of the week. So every week they fight some new. I need this to have build up because I get it. It is still Inuyasha. So that's a good thing. But I just don't want them to take the same formula where they fight a new monster. They do a new event every week and none of these events, you know, build up to something huge they just do all these stuff and then out of nowhere three four chapters are going to be focused on let's say finding the butterfly or they didn't find the butterfly or anything like that uh who knows maybe this episode they get a hit out of that but this is just something that i definitely hope that they don't take and if they do it's going to be one of my things that will never allow me, that is right, never allow me to give this show a total 10 out of 10. 
only because they didn't break that formula. Jakotsumaru of the Red Bone Palace. <clears throat> Out. The girl of the feet of Tokotsu is returned to these lands. Okay. <laughs> Who is this? She looked like a Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> but much stronger though I like that it's like she's much stronger but not hmm. Mount Musubi hmm. <laughs> Bush duty, mister. Whoa, shit. that's disgusting. Oh my god, that is. Oh wow. Oh, I found out what it was that was coming out their mouth. Oh, gross. Holy. Shit. Uh oh. Huh. Oh, it's made out of the bone. It's made out of the demons. <laughs> the problem is you're here, I could see. Tells him straight up. Hokarai Kari. Urusai. Urusai. Fly the flying cat. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm always happy. Huh? Hmm. Six mong. Wow. What? Is Mr. Mio? <laughs> He's still alive? <laughs> oh, Mioga Senpai! He's still alive! Yes! Yeah! And she, oh, and she missed. You know, usually Inuyasha kills him most of the time, but she missed when she he was sucking her blood, so that's. That's a, that's a little twist. Hopefully, ho hopefully it's a continued thing versus like she actually starting to slap him like his, her father. That headless Takotsu. Oh, wow. Holy. Takechiyo. <laughs> Did they didn't show this in the first few episodes. So this must be something that she did prior to the show kicking off. I guess <laughs> It's just so weird. Inuyasha's eyes and in Yasha's face, but Kagome's features. Not weird, but obviously that's the perfect mix. Alright. Yo, okay, that's creepy. <laughs> really creepy. Really? Oh, no. What the hell? That is so creepy. That 
That was a good move. Disappeared though. You better follow it. So Takeshiro is just a new. Hmm. I guess he he must be the new Ippo in the show. Oh. <laughs> they ready. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> this is getting really good. Oh, uh, yeah, the backstory. Here we go. How? That makes no sense. Konton Toketsu Kyuki in Tokotsu. Okay. Hey, let's go. I love it. Now they're tying everything together. It is not a what's it called. It is not a monster of the week. What's you? I don't care. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh wow Wow are you serious? Are you serious? Are you king serious? This is insane. I'm thinking this all the entire time. I'm like, yo, she went ahead and did him dirty. All sheer coincidence do i like that as an expo say as a person who looks forward to like the future i really don't like that the revelation is that oh she just so happened to be there coincidentally but something must have happened she either did that herself unconsciously or something hmm. that's what we gotta find out now oh It's getting real. Oh God! It's all about the money for her. She re she really remind more like Tsunade. She got that Tsunade feel for me for like the gambler. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Castlevania. <laughs> what is a red? <laughs> Hell no. So it seems like she actually did it from what my from what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, see, all that talk out of here, bro. Done. Right? Hmm. What the fuck is that? I love it. I love it. She actually uses sacred arts. 
I thought it was the you know the cliche like oh the combination of Kagome and Inuyasha. No, she actually used sacred arts like Kikyo. She uses like sacred salt. She uses tags. I'm hoping that she starts using tags like Miroku because I know Miroku's son is there and maybe eventually he'll join the fray once things start kicking up. But it seems that this season in particular is very focused on <clears throat> these three characters that are trying to develop each other or develop within the story. So I don't know how much focus the other cast characters on the side are going to get. They haven't had that much you know, uh, screen time per se. And that's who I'm looking forward to seeing if, you know, if they're going to start expanding outside of that. Crazy. I like that. She <laughs> spit on her. <laughs> Here we go. Bendy Yasha! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Um. <laughs> Let's go! Ah! <laughs> Yo! She got all the, wow. She got all the Inuyasha's moves, obviously. <laughs> that was dope. The Iron Reaver Soul Stealer. Holy sh, that was dope. I like the way that they did that, that, that she just like, sh and then it shadowed up her face. And then she went ahead and like, <laughs> out, out. But it only lasts, I guess, a minute. Uh, which would mean, does she, will she be able to enhance it if she absorbed the red jewel? Who knows? Ain't gonna do anything. It's just gonna feed him. Did it kill him? Hmm. Is it over with? Interesting. Hmm. Miroku! <laughs> ah, my boy Miroku! <laughs> nice. That is the hint I've been looking for. I got something for you guys. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was hype. 10 out of 10 episode. Hype mode here. Hype mode. Holy shit. Woo. Yeah, that was that was totally badass. Um we finally got what I I finally got what I've been waiting for. The raffle Benny Yasha. 
And that was, oh, that was delicious. That was delicious. Delicious. Say it with me, people. D Lish S Can't go wrong. Again, I was saying at the very beginning of the middle of the episode that I didn't want this to be, you know, a boss of the week or a villain of the week, but um <clears throat> it may not end up being like that. It definitely had the vibe at first, but what everything came out to be is that it's more like expose kind of giving us a route to go to. So, um, the hint that I saw at the end is something that I want to discuss in a different video. I got two videos coming up this week, um, for you guys. Of course, the video from last week, I wasn't able to go ahead and drop it due to the internet, but we'll discuss that on another matter. At the end of the day, this episode is a solid 10 out of 10. Great animation, great expose, great world building at the same time. And they give us some good treats with some great action, you know, uh, some crazy stuff with dudes sucking the bones out of people by hitting them beside the head with them. Um, but, you know, uh, we get crazy kills in the Yasha all the time. That's it. That's part of the process. And that's it. That's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you go ahead and hit the sub, the like, the share. I can continue telling you guys that. Let's get the goal. 30 thumbs up. Like I said, let's get to 30 this time. Do it, baby, and I'll see you guys next week.